Now during wartime, guess what? You know, they've just put on another uh, mask, a disguise. Now, I've heard so many stories and I'll share a really heart-wrenching story at the end of this video where she's saying, look, I'm, a, I'm in a bomb shelter. You know, I go back home, I'm in a bomb shelter. Please, can you help me escape Ukraine? I'm, I'm afraid I'm not gonna make it to tomorrow. I just need $4,000. He said, I couldn't live with myself if I didn't give her the money and she died. This is something I've wanted to do for a very long time. This is a scam school. You are seriously going to get a PhD by the time you attend the full all day event in scams, online dating scams, how they work, how to spot them, how to make sure you're in a real relationship versus being scammed. Which websites are the most toxic? Which, in fact, I'm going to reveal the 99 online dating sites that by independent survey over a five year period, are the worst scammers, the worst offenders. You're gonna hear scam stories by guys that have been there, done that. They're gonna tell you their scam story. I'm inviting you, the audience, any man that's been scammed, if you're willing to pay it forward, like so many of my clients have done, and tell your story on video live on Sunday, May 15th, starting noon, um, Easter time going up until at least five Easter time. If you're willing to do that, you will be entered and one of you guys will win our coveted $10,000 lifetime matchmaking. And how are you going to win? Let's right now I have four guys that have put up their hands said, yes, I will tell my story. So we have at least four guys, but there will be more. So for example, if there's only four guys, you will have a 25% chance of winning. How is the winner going to be chosen? You're going to listen to the guy's scam story and you're going to vote from one to 10. Y'all just have you in live chat vote um, and we will tally the votes at the end of the, the, the five hour live stream and you guys will decide who is the winner. And the winner, okay, he gets a chance to turn his bad scam story into a good story with a happy ending. Is Ukraine dating dead? Hi, I'm Joe Ricards, founder at Match Guarantee. Hi guys, my name is Anna, heart of Match Guarantee. And yes, it's a big question in a lot of you guys had. And it was a question also for us, you know, since the war began in Ukraine, if dating dead? Yeah, like nobody really knew the answer to this question when Russia invaded Ukraine. Well, months later, after communicating with hundreds of our ladies, I can tell you, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is that we don't recommend for some guys wartime dating in Ukraine because we just don't feel it's a right fit for them right now. Yet for other guys, actually their success is much higher now. A little bit more about the good news. Imagine for just a moment, if there was now an opportunity for you to save $10,000 in your journey to find your wife in Ukraine. And on top of that, you could save two years on this journey, you know, on the time from meet to marriage. Wouldn't that be sweet? Well, that's the silver lining opportunity that's on the table for you right now. I will share more on that in just a bit. So why are some guys successful super quickly right now while others most likely to fail? Yeah, take the case of, well, he's a client that's been on the channel many of times. I'm going to reveal who it is at the end. For six years, he's been dating in Ukraine. Actually, he's lived in Ukraine for years, dated countless ladies and not been successful. And he just messaged me and sent a picture of him and his lady. He swears, this is it, I'm in love. Joe, you're invited to the wedding. So why is it that he was unsuccessful during regular dating in Ukraine while living in Ukraine and now 
he met her during wartime. Well, that clearly shows you that the opportunity is still right there for the taking for you. Yet, I don't want to sugarcoat it. This journey has definitely become more tricky, more challenging, especially for some guys. Yet with other guys, I really think the deck is stacked for their success now during wartime. So in this video, we want to help you decide if this journey is for you now, or maybe you're better off to wait until the war ends. Now, before we dive in, I want to caution you. Big red alert, red flag. Did you know that during COVID, the PPL or the paper letter scam industry, it tripled, it's up 300%. Of course, we were all lonely during lockdown, right? So the keyboard warriors came out in full force. Well, now during wartime, guess what? You know, they've just put on another uh, mask, a disguise. Now, I've heard so many stories and I'll share a really heart-wrenching story at the end of this video. Okay, let's start from the backstory on our ladies. When war started, we emailed our 1,200 ladies asking if they need help with evacuation. Uh, we provide financial support to some of them. And after talking to hundreds of them, uh, we found that um, we have 90% response rate, which is mean we in touch with our 90% of our database. Uh, approximately 50% of our ladies, they left Ukraine and half of them now in territory of Poland. Uh, and uh, we find out that approximately from 80 to 90% of them are open for dating. Yeah, in fact, right, babe, we've had about 30 new lady registrations since the war began. I mean, that shows you overall Ukrainian ladies are still open to dating during the war, right? Let's now talk about your guys' top fears that we've, in talking to you, understand they are holding you back from wartime dating, from dating now. And they're making you say, oh, let's wait until the war is over, which is fine if you want to choose that route. You know, you want to put your life on hold, that's fine. But we have always noticed that fears hold us back hold us from getting what we want in life. And we just wanna make you guys aware that these top five fears we've noticed are holding a lot of you guys back right now. The top fear is you guys say, what dating in Ukraine? <laughs> Ukraine is under war, I can't fly to Ukraine. How is it even possible? Well, of course you can't fly to Ukraine right now, but we're in touch, as Anna said, with 90% of our ladies. We know what country they're in, and we know that they're open. We know which ones are open, which ones are not. Uh, and so it's just a matter of, if you have a connection with one particular lady from our database, you date her for a while virtually, so on Skype or uh, on WhatsApp video. And then when you guys understand that you have a connection, you fly to her in her city in Europe where she's at now. That's all that means. The second biggest fear you guys have, we noticed that Ukrainian lady are desperate to leave Ukraine and she will just use me. You just did a whole video on that. Yeah. Or maybe you guys saw it or not. We'll put the link below. Basically, during matchmaking, du during war, we find out that uh, exception rejection rate, which is mean when we introduce men to our ladies, it didn't change. Our acceptance rejection rate, you know, the, the number of ladies that are turning our clients down. In fact, we just had two rather surprising cases. Uh, one guy, good looking, 42 years old, he got a 0% acceptance, so 100% rejection rate. And there were some particular reasons, there's always reasons, right? Uh, but then, the one that really surprised me a little bit <laughs> was a guy, he was clearly rich. In fact, he's a multi-multi-millionaire, and he only got a 25% acceptance rate. No, and he's not a bad looking guy, so 75% rejection rate to a multi-millionaire. Does that spell desperate to you guys right it's pretty obvious our ladies are not desperate why is that babe why is that because still <laughs> the key of in the dating process in ukraine that a lady looking for love you know if she doesn't see future with this man she don't want to be introduced to him you know why she would waste her time you know yeah keep in mind Sure, safety and security is the number one need of almost every Slavic woman, okay? Uh, but love is the secondary need. And the thing is, she won't allow herself to get to know 
to fall in love with a man if there's no sa perceived safety and security there. So that is still in play, but they're not desperate. You can see from the results. And the third most predominant fear we've noticed from you guys is a fear of success. Yes, you heard me right. And you know, it's very interesting because in financial coaching, which I did before, fear of success is a big fear out there, you know, because if you're successful, you, know, you have to, you know, it changes your world. And if you're successful at finding your future wife, yeah, that means your life is going to be flipped. And a lot of you guys are afraid of that. And this is usually a subconscious fear that, that often guys are not even aware of. But why it's coming up now is because everything is happening fast now because she's a refugee, you know, she has to change her country now. She has to make these life changing decisions now or pretty quickly. So to be successful now, you've got to move quickly. And that's the thing. If you're not willing or able to move quickly for whatever reason, we strongly suggest you don't begin this journey now because you're most likely not going to be successful. Can I add that? Uh, yeah, of course, babe. Uh, when we say quickly act, it doesn't mean that you have to make a proposal to her in one, in one month, no. Actually, it's uh, given other opportunities of organically developing relationship when she lives in your country and uh, you date her like, you know, like you date a normal world, you know, let the relationship to grow, you know, and you, when you come to the point when you feel you both want to, you know, <laughs> uh, get married, you know, you make a proposal. Yeah. yeah, I just mean by quickly, you're gonna have to step up on a much more accelerated pace. So if you're not ready for marriage, you're gonna find you're tripping over your own feet as, as you're expected or you're needing to step up. Otherwise, you just simply will lose her. We'll see you guys back soon for part two of Wartime Dating in Ukraine. Bye for now. Bye bye. And the third deal breaker, guys, and if you screw this up, you're definitely, I'm telling you, you're gonna lose her. And that is, have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.